For members of the Christian faith, the palm symbolizes the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. Here at St. Paul's Lutheran Church on 2nd Street in Beaver Meadows, that same palm is used to make palm crosses, a very popular Easter tradition. So this is our 19th year, which we can't believe it's been that long. Jennifer Barnasevich is the chairperson for this major undertaking, a tradition that began almost two decades ago. About 15 people volunteer at various times to create approximately 400 of these beautiful crosses. I would say about two and a half weeks we have intense work schedule here at the church. <laughs> Between cutting the crosses, the, the frames for them, and then, and then cutting the palms to the correct size and then stripping the palms you know and dividing them into the right width for us to use and then stapling them onto the crosses. This is what the palm looks like when it arrives here for these ladies. It's cut to these sizes but this is just the start of the process that it can then be put onto the crosses. Ruth Donald is one of the volunteers and I think they elected you the spokesperson here today sure Ruth. Did. So tell me exactly what you are doing now when you receive that piece of palm. Well, actually, we're the strippers here. And we take the palm and we strip them into pieces. We then have to divide them. They have a hard core on the edges. They have to come off because palm actually has to be able to bend in half. So we have to individually rip off the pieces of palm to separate them. We then have to take off the hard edges that come with it and make sure that we have the right width so that when they get to the ladies to put on the wood, they are able to bend them in half and have uniformity. So this is a process, and you guys told me you have a system because you've been doing this quite a while. We sure do. We have a schedule, and some people come during the day, some people come at night, and mostly everybody has knowledge of how to do every part of the job, but for most of us, we just take a seat and do what has to be done. And what they do is a tedious process. It involves plenty of sitting and standing and plenty of repetitive motion. Well, your fingers get dry from the palms. Um, I'm sure some of our palm strippers get tired uh, sitting, you know, stripping the palms, and we're standing. We actually raised up the, the table so that you know, we're not bent over as much. So every year we try to tweak the system so that it's a little easier on us. I'm pretty impressed when I saw this setup here for how you staple. So how'd that come about? Because when we first started, we were using like manual staplers and that was hard. And then we, we progressed to electric and that was okay, but then those staplers didn't hold up as well and they were still a little harder to use. So then we went to pneumatic, which is much easier on our hands and it's quicker and the guns seem to hold up really well. The Palm Cross project is a major fundraiser for St. Paul's Lutheran Church. It started out small but boy has it grown. So we started our first year we sold 50 and we didn't know how the sale was going to go but progressively every year we started selling a little more and it seems like 400 is like our magic number and it depends on the weather too when Easter falls if it's real early if there's still snow on the ground and people can't get to the cemetery but when it's later it's warmer out I think people have time to get ready for Easter and you know remember to order their crosses so this year we should do very well. What made you decide to do this? Uh, we were just looking for a good niche for our church it's so hard to find a good fundraiser and something that is specific to you so we just tried this you, know, you just try different things we tried this and it's really taken off for us. And that success over the years has helped to provide a number of church programs. We do a lot of community outreach in our church, so we, we try to and help anybody that's in need, uh, different kinds of children's events, uh, outreach programs, and the maintenance, you know, of the building of the church. If you check out the church's Facebook page, you will see tons of activities, all made possible through fundraisers like this. Tell us some of the activities that you do hold. Uh, vacation Bible School, we do host uh, Parents Night Out, different kinds of kids activities, the Samaritan's Purse, we have the Beaver Meadows Food Pantry is housed here as well. Um, so just 
anything that we can do for the community. And because the community requested it, the variety of crosses now made has also grown. So we have the Roman, which is the straight cross, and then we also have the Byzantine, and we have petite ones as well that are a little smaller. We started getting requests for that, so we wanted to accommodate that. And we also have them for the door. So you, so some, the ones for the cemetery with the spike on the end, and then we have the ones that are sheer on the bottom that you can hang on the door. While we were there, a few customers did stop by to pick up their orders. Roman Baron has been a customer since the very first year. It's been a tradition in our family for many, many years. And I like to support this local church because they do so much for our community here in Beaver Meadows. We have a lot of regulars. We have a lot of people that have come every year from the beginning. And then we pick up new customers along the way too. So it's nice. For people who missed ordering this year, when's a good time for them to contact you for next year? Usually about right, right when Ash Wednesday, right as soon as Lent starts, we, we begin the sale and start taking orders. How does it make you feel when you see the finished process and then if you visit a cemetery and you see all your work there? It feels great. We're very proud of what we do. All of our crosses are made by different people, so they're very unique and they're individually made, so no two crosses are ever the same. So it's very nice to just see them and know that people are out there supporting us and helping us do what we do. Thank you so much to everyone for allowing us to come in and share your beautiful story for the Easter season. And before we leave you, these lovely workers have a nice message for all of you. A blessed Easter, Easter from St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Beaver Meadows. Reporting for SSP-TV News, I'm Lisa Sugart.